Next, we're going to plug the wiring from the trailer into the truck. What this is going to do is give us brake lights, tail lights, turn signals on our trailer, just like in our vehicle, so the people behind you um, still know if you're stopping, if you're turning. Um, it's just a safety precaution, and uh, as far as I know, you have to have lights on your trailer in every state. This is the type of plug we're going to use. Uh, this is a plug that's set up for not only lights, but also trailer brakes. And this is where we have the, the plug in mounted to the vehicle. You just on the top of this, there's a raised slot. And in here, that's on top. You're going to slide that in. And the cap on this actually holds this in from popping out. It hooks onto that raised slot on top. There are a few different kinds um, for just basic lights. You can have a flat plug like this one. Um, nice thing about this connection, if you maybe have a different trailer, um, most of your utility trailers will just have a flat plug. You can still use the same connection there. Um, if you have a trailer brake on something larger, a trailer like this, that's a car trailer, um, equipment trailer, that's going to be wired through this connection. And you have a box in the front of your truck that you can set the control on the electric brake on the trailer as to how much pressure you want that brake hitting when you hit the brake. Um, you can adjust it if you want more or less, which will definitely help you stop a lot better instead of having all the weight on the trailer pushing your vehicle forward. It's actually stopping with your vehicle.